We're going to look at a controller today. It's an RTC 1000 Bartlett controller. Um, you have a panel of numbers that you have to program. We're looking for a five-step program with four holes, hole times on it. Uh, we're going to look at the com uh, controller now and then go to a graph. User 1, enter, segments 5, enter, ramp 1, I want 300 degrees, and I'm going to take it to 1100. And I'm going to hold it for 30 minutes. Ramp 2 is going to be 600 degrees per hour. And I'm going to take it to 1240 and hold it for 30 minutes. Ramp 3, 999. That means it's going as fast and as hot as it can. And this is going to my fuse point, 1450. And I'm going to hold it for 20 minutes. Ramp 4 is full again. I'm cooling as fast as possible and going to 900. This I'm going to hold for 20 minutes. Ramp 5 is 150 degrees per hour down to 750. And then the kiln will turn off and have to cool to room temperature. And the total time is about eight hours that the kiln will be heating and cooling and the computer working. The rest of the time you have to just wait till it cools off. That's it on programming. All right, here's the program that we just put in the kiln. It's five steps. The rate is 300 degrees per hour to 1100. We're going to hold it for 15 minutes. Two is 600 degrees per minute. We go to 1240 and hold it for 30 minutes. The third is full. Remember? 9999. And we go to 1450, which is our fusing point, and we're going to hold it for 20 minutes to get it to smooth out. Now it's time to cool. We cool it full, 9999, to 900, and hold it 30 minutes. The last step is the rate of 150 degrees per hour going to 750, and then the kiln turns off, and we have to wait for it to cool. Now, significance. Step one we increase gradually up to 1100. Now this step is important with the big pieces because we want the piece to be at the same temperature all over. Small pieces, it's not so important, but if you're doing a large piece or if you happen to have a kiln that only heats from the sides, we need to be sure that there's a uniform temperature throughout the piece. Then we hold it here for 15 minutes. Then we increase rate to 600 up to our next target place, which is 1240. And we hold that for 30 minutes. The reason we hold it much longer here is if you have pieces that are stacked, we have to be sure there's no air in between those pieces. This step is called the bubble squeeze. All right, we've got the air out. We're going to heat it up fast as we can to 1450. Then we're going to hold it until it smooths out, 20 minutes. Fourth step. We come down here to 900. 
This is the annealing point. The glass is fluid up here. We've made all those molecules mobile. At the annealing point, we want them to go back where they were. So we hold that for 30 minutes and then let it cool slowly down to 750. The importance of A and B come in from, can be explained by the nature of glass. Uh, glass is an amorphous solid, which means it doesn't have a crystalline structure and will become very fluid with heat. And this is why we're concerned with the speed of the change from solid to a fluid, from a fluid back to a solid. We want to go through that devitrification de zone so that the glass has time for the molecules to change back to the way they started. Okay, that's it for your graph. Still, it's something you just have to do yourself to really understand it. Thanks for watching.